Welcome back guys, this is Cubs here. So, usual disclaimers, blah blah blah. Uh, how are my vape heads and vape heads doing? Here's another line today that I received, actually I received them in the mail right around the time that I went to ECC. Kind of been sitting on them a little bit, let them steep for a little bit. So, uh, yeah, uh, some of them kind of hit it out of the bar ballpark and some of them kind of fell flat, wasn't too impressed with, but, uh, today we're going to be doing a review on Tasty Vape, Tasty Vapor, sorry. So Tasty Vapor has a fairly large selection of juice. Uh, they have your basic fruits, uh, and then they have some baked goods and some kind of weird ones uh, I haven't seen yet. And, uh, you know, out of the, the six that I received, there's a couple that, that I was really, really impressed by. And then, like I said, a few just kind of meh. So, the first one we're going to start with is one called Quick Straw. They describe it as a dessert, sweet dessert type uh, juice. All of these lines are from their premium dripping line. It's a higher VG. This is a single coil. Pretty nice actually. So quick straw is strawberry milk, but it's not super milky. It has that, that kind of uh, normal milk flavor that almost all milk flavors have. Just that milky, not creamy, kind of chalky, I don't know. To me, all the milk flavors I've tried tend to have that little bit of a a flavor to it, the kind of chalky, milky taste. Uh, the strawberry isn't really strong, strong. It's very light. It's almost as if you were doing like a low fat strawberry milk without that much strawberry quick in it. It's not a bad flavor. It's not super, super sweet. Doesn't quite meet that strawberry quick. Uh, flavor which I would be expecting because strawberry quick is a very distinct flavor as well as it's pretty strong I've never had like a light strawberry quick even when you buy it like the premix low fat it's very very strong flavor I would expect more it's sweet but it has more of like a strawberry condensed milk condensed milk has a flavor to it if you've ever had condensed milk by itself it just has this flavor to it it tastes more like a condensed milk with a hint of strawberry. It's not overly bad. It's not horrible. You know, I wouldn't suggest try it, uh, not to try it. It's definitely one that if you like strawberry quick and you're trying to get the exact flavor, you're not going to get it from this, but you, you get a sweet, it's not overly sweet, it's not overly strawberry-like, you just get a hint of strawberry. You get more of a sweet, kind of milky flavor to it, but not like the standard milk. It's, like I said, more of a condensed milk. In a tank, I don't know how well it would do. It'd probably just come across as sweet, although you may get more flavor from the strawberry. It all depends. Uh, overall, not a bad flavor, definitely one you should try, uh, but it, if you're going for a spot on strawberry quick, you're not going to get it from this one. Now, Tasty Vapor, uh, they sent me six 
bottles. And I only had an issue with a couple of them. Number one, they're safety caps. The one I've been trying is like twisting the, the nipple for the dripper. Does it come undone? No, it doesn't. And their safety caps are pretty good. They're, they're stiff. You kind of have to crank them down to get them to go. But uh, there's only been one issue where I over tightened it. And it kind of went all wonky. It still seals they don't come undone so uh you know that's a plus but i don't know if it was a larger bottle it might have issues and if you put it doesn't take much pressure to get the safety cap to engage and come off uh it has a big warning skull and crossbone and uh it has a born on date has the the six milligrams 15 milliliters so it has all the information on here uh some of them came hand labeled with uh the born on date i didn't like that so much because again it's one of those you know if it's in your pocket or if you rub it on it too much uh that labeling is going to come off these for the most part i did get juice on them they didn't rub off much uh they didn't rub off at all actually it's just the the ink when it was handwritten on there it came off but not too bad you know the next one i was really really surprised about uh it quickly became my i'm gonna vape the whole bottle until it's gone juice um what i liked about it one of the things is it didn't it's a sweet vape but sometimes if you have an overly sweet vape they tend to caramelize on the the coils fairly quickly and then you start getting a burnt taste that changes the flavor or it takes longer to to get a nice vape out of it i vaped it all day heavily and it wasn't bad it didn't over caramelize the the coils it didn't get them all crusty and black it did however you know it turned the the wick brown but you know that's kind of expected it's a brown liquid to begin with So this is a lemon pound cake. It is a lemon pound cake. It's lemon, it's not overpowering lemon. It's a good mix between the pound cake battery type, you know, baked good flavor and the lemon. It's spot on. And what I enjoyed is like some of the my non-smoker friends uh, smelt it. They don't vape really either. They kind of chime in on what I'm vaping. You know, that smells good. That doesn't smell good. They, they thought I was cooking something. You know, it, they swore my car smelled like lemon pound cake. So that's always a plus, right? Smelling good. But... Uh, You know, this is definitely a spot on lemon pound cake. If you were to use this in a tank, you're probably going to lose some of the lemon and the, the cake flavor, but it's subtle enough that you're going to get a very light lemon pound cake flavor. Of course, that's a Cardo type tank uh, on a one of the newer coils like what is the new one everybody has the nautilus or whatever you might get more flavor out of it but uh this one i was vaping it at a point two all day and it did really well it, it was spot on all day not until it really started gunking up the the uh cotton is when i started to lose some of the flavor but it's still very very good flavor this is one of the ones that i was pleasantly surprised about because of how good it was the bottles are blue which it's kind of like that that beer thing like you don't put your beer in a, a clear bottle i don't know how bad light reacts to juice and i'm sure people will say well it's really bad or it's not too bad but you figure a darker the glass it can't hurt right 
Uh, so I enjoyed the, the blue bottles and I enjoyed the caps. This is one of the ones that was handwritten and it just, it smears, it comes off. Uh, this one, because of the ink they used, it actually stayed just kind of as the shadow, but not the really dark uh, printing like it usually or what when I first got it. But not too bad. Uh, the next one is actually another favorite of mine. This is a strawberry lemonade. Great vapor production. I have it at uh, four volts uh, to match what any of the, the mechanicals would put out with a fresh battery. <coughs> the strawberry lemonade, it's not too lemony. It's not overpowering, too sour. The strawberry is very subtle, but you can taste it. Uh, it's very refreshing. However, I found like kind of with all of these flavors, cotton mouth fairly quickly. So keep your water at hand. Uh, you know, when I was vaping this at a recent convention, it was kind of difficult to have your vape, have your, my business cards, have a bottle of water just constantly in my hands. Uh, it's still kind of refreshing. It's really good actually right after I take a sip of water and vape it because it gives that more of a quenching, uh, quenching f sensation. The, uh, the combination of the two, they've done it really well. It's not overpowering on either two. It balances very well. So the Strawberry Lemonade, it's a great balance between the two. They've married it very well. Uh, it's done very well, but like I said, it does tend to dry out the mouth a little. So uh, keep that water on hand. Other than that, it, it's a pretty great vape. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. I vaped it up in about two days. Uh, the next one, The next one, it's just kind of, the next one is, is vanilla custard and everybody's doing custards. Everybody's doing, you know, we get in these, these waves of like certain flavors. Everybody's got to have one, uh, vanilla custard custards have kind of gone through their phase a little, uh, now everybody's onto cereal flavors, but the vanilla custard I expect it to be very, very custardy. It's custardy, but it's not super custardy. It's not super vanilla flavor. Uh, they've done very well at keeping a nice balance. However, it's not it's not a standout flavor for a vanilla custard. I've had some really, really good vanilla custards that are just amazing. Blows your socks off. This one, not so much. Uh, not disappointed in it, but I wouldn't rush out to make it my all day vape. In a tank, you're going to have less of the, it's going to be muted, of course, in the tank, but uh, I think it's going to be less dramatic. It's not going to be as good. If this was your first custard you ever tasted and you like vanilla custard, then you may enjoy this a lot because it's the only one you have it to compare to. But for this one, I honestly think it, it could be better. I definitely think it could be better. It's not a bad flavor, not a bad combination. I mean, it works well, but it's just kind of run of the mill, very basic. Uh, I would expect more from a vanilla custard, uh, more custard flavor, just stronger, more powerful flavor. Uh, it is good. It's not bad. But it's nothing to write home to your mother about. Uh, all in all, 
you should try it, especially if you're interested in a vanilla custard. Their prices aren't bad uh, from what I've seen. You can order directly from their website, which is always nice, convenient. Uh, I'll have the links below and uh, all their, their information. Like I said, vanilla custard, it's good. It's not bad, but it's not awesome. It's not great. It's not like just holy shit, you have to try this one. Now, here's another one where it wasn't, I liked the combination, but it just wasn't quite on point. This one is the Frosted Oatmeal Cookie. Frosted Oatmeal Cookie, we all know them. They tend to, I see them in little canisters, uh, like around Christmas time actually. Um, it's an oatmeal cookie, it's got the little white frosting, it's like a crunchy white frosting. It's, it's an oatmeal cookie, it tastes kind of like an oatmeal cookie. It's right there on the cusp of being like an awesome oatmeal cookie, but it's still kind of, it just, it feels like it's lacking something. It's just not up to par for oatmeal cookie. If you're going to call it an oatmeal cookie, frosted oatmeal cookie, it should be very, very close. It's on the lower, it's just close, you know, uh, it's not bad. It's not going to be an all day vape for me. I enjoyed it for a few minutes, but afterwards it just kind of, it, it was lackluster. It wasn't something that I could just keep going back to. And I don't know if it was because of the flavor combination. Oatmeal cookie, I have, I eat oatmeal every single day, every morning. And I know what oatmeal tastes like, and I know what an oatmeal cookie tastes like. It tastes like a cheap manufactured oatmeal cookie, maybe. Uh, just maybe like a diet oatmeal cookie. Just another one that wasn't quite up to par. Not a super bad flavor. Uh, just, you know, just not up to par for like what I expected it to be. I was really excited to try it. A different flavor I hadn't tried. And it just wasn't up to snuff. You know, it happens. Uh... It's not too bad though. Don't cry. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Smile. Oatmeal cookie. Yeah. I'm down to my last one. Let's throw it on this one. So the last one, I was, again, you know, I was looking forward to this one. I expected it to be more than what it came out to be. And maybe it's just because it's a high VG. Maybe if it wasn't such a high VG, uh, more of the flavors would come out for some of these flavors. But uh, I was a little disappointed. I mean, cloud production on all of these is very nice. But this one, it's red licorice. And we all know red licorice. You get it in the cheap dollar store red licorice, the red vines, or you get it in like Twizzler red licorice. It has a very distinct flavor and you get the hint of it. But it's just, I don't know. I, it just doesn't, it's not up to par as to what I expected the red licorice to be. Uh, it's sweet, but it doesn't have that distinct red licorice flavor. You can taste it, you can get hints of it, but it's just not really up to par. And I'll tell you, like, the red licorice was born on 518, so I still have, you know, almost another six months before it would be expired. I shook it, I tried it multiple times, 
even the the bottle like when i first opened it it didn't really smell like red licorice and red licorice when you open up the the boxes you you or the the bags of it you can smell red licorice it's kind of lackluster again it's like i said i'm gonna chalk it up to it's a high vg so you're not of course gonna get uh, as strong of flavors as if it was a lower mix but it's it's a sweet vape it's could be a red licorice if you're using it in a tank it may show up at more of a red licorice but all i get is sweet and my concern with that is because it is fairly sweet it kind of it kind of left like almost like a saccharine taste like a diet aftertaste in my mouth and it's probably just the combination of the flavor and the sweetener but i didn't enjoy it that much and i'm worried that if it is you know super sweet it's going to caramelize fairly quickly on on a tank and you're going to burn out your 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 coil you know within a day of vaping this i didn't use it on a tank i only have one tank and i rarely use that uh i've tried the k funds and all those and then it just it's too much hassle so you know i drip and these are supposed to be meant for dripping but Maybe a stale red licorice, like it's been sitting for a long time. But it, it's just, it just tastes like a sweet, kind of like muted piece of candy that's not, like it's trying so hard, but it, it's just falling flat completely. Uh, out of all of them, I really think the red licorice was the one that i i just didn't like the most and it's a flavor that i would have loved i i love licorice but it's, it's just very very lackluster it's it's not up to par for supposed to be a red licorice now i don't want to say this is a bad review because you know the the flavors there were two that just like spot on awesome freaking flavors but out of the ones that i received from them uh i would definitely say the pound cake and the strawberry lemonade were really my favorites uh they were tart the the strawberry lemonade was tart without being too tart uh drawback kind of left me with dry mouth but uh the pound cake vaped that shit all day all day loved it drawback little gunky coil losing the flavor a little but still really good flavors like if you're rebuilding on a regular basis you're not even going to notice the issues uh overall definitely a brand i'd be willing to try some of the other flavors uh th these ones you know maybe not the the pick of the litter but you know two hit them out of the ballpark and then the other four okay you know okay if you're interested in the flavors go out and try them like i said links gonna be below uh please remember to subscribe like follow share facebook twitter instagram what do i have to do what do i have to do guys uh i'm begging you begging you uh for now i guess it's gonna be it so vape on vape heads have a good one it's called clouds of goodness story goes guy walks into a shop says i want some juice uh and i want it at the maximum vg just for dripping i can get and so clouds of goodness comes through they make a max vg line and 